In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can solve what are called formulas, or literal equations. And these are going to be equations that have more than one variable in it, and we want to solve for one of the variables. When we're solving a formula, it's important we treat all the other variables just like numbers. And when we do that, the final answer doesn't come out to a simple answer like 7 or negative 12 halves. The final answer this time is going to be some expression. We'll end up with x equals some expression. And it might be simple or ugly, it doesn't matter. What's important is the variable we want is alone. If our goal is to solve for x, we want to know what x represents. So for example, if we have 3x equals 15, we've solved these equations before by dividing by 3, and we get x is equal to 5. Similarly, instead of saying 3 times x, we'll now see w times x. And instead of it equaling 15, it now equals y. But we'll notice the pattern is still the same. We want to get x alone, so we divide out what it's multiplied by. We'll divide by the w, and we get x is equal to this fraction, the expression y over w. So now our answers are expressions instead of numbers, but the pattern we use to solve is the same pattern with numbers. So for example, if we're given the equation wx plus b equals y, and we want to solve this for y, you could think about as if the w and the b were numbers, how would you get the x alone? Well, this is a two-step equation. We first add and subtract the thing that doesn't have a w on it, so the opposite of adding b is subtracting b from both sides. The b's are gone, and now we have wx equals... Well, we can't combine y and b. They're not like terms. So we'll just leave it as a subtraction problem, y minus b. They're not like terms, leave them like that, y minus b. We still need to get the x alone. Right now, the x is next to the w, so it means x times w. So to get rid of the w, just like we would get rid of a number in front of x, we divide by it. So we will divide both sides by w. The x is now alone, and it's equal to this fraction, y minus b over w. When the x is alone, we are done. We know what x represents, the fraction y minus b over w. Let's look at another example that's similar, where we treat everything else like a number, except for the variable we want. Again, balancing through the equal sign, we want to solve ab plus 5y equals wx plus y for b. The variable we're solving for this time is b. Well, just like before, we want to get rid of the thing that's added or subtracted to b. So we've got these plus 5y's, and we don't want the plus 5y's. So we get rid of them by subtracting 5y's from both sides. As I do, I notice this time we do have like terms. We do have the y minus 5y as like terms, so I'm going to go ahead and line up those like terms. So on the left, we have ab equals, and on the right, wx, y minus 5y is minus 4y. Still trying to solve for b. Well, to get the b alone, we need to get rid of the other variable a that's multiplied, so we'll divide both sides by the a, and we get b is equal to this fraction, wx minus 4y over a. As we're solving a formula for a variable, the answers often start to look really ugly. But that's okay, because we don't care how ugly the answer is, as long as the variable we're looking for is completely alone on one side of the equation. To solve a formula, we treat all the variables like numbers and solve like we would any other equation.